Good evening, it is Christian here with Season 3, Episode 3 of Christian's Trailer Talk. Before I get into this, please like and subscribe and tell me what did you think of this episode. Today is our CinemaCon episode. CinemaCon's ending today, and we're going to talk about all the trailers that debuted during CinemaCon. We're going to talk about The Black Phone, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris, and Jurassic World Dominion. We're going to start with Mrs. Harris Goes to Paris because it's the least important one. And it's a British movie about a British woman who goes to Paris. And it stars Academy Award nominee Leslie, Leslie Manville. And this movie looks like delightful British wit. I know it's a crappy accent, but still. It looks like a charm, a good, charming movie. Um... <laughs> The lead is pro the uh Leslie Manville's character is probably gonna be very likable and and it doesn't really look like anything special but it looks decent enough. Pretty much all I'd say about that trailer. Then we're gonna talk about Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, which stars Andy Samberg and John Mulaney. This movie, I think, looks so bad it's good. Maybe. No, it doesn't look totally bad. It just looks kind of eh, like kind of like okay-ish. There were like decent jokes there. It looks very meta. Looks very meta. The the CGI on Dale it actually looks pretty decent. It doesn't look bad looking, but some jokes were kind of not good and. C CGI Seth Rogen is gonna give me nightmares. I'm just saying that it looks so bad, and also I hate that music choice. Like it's such a bad music choice for the trailer. Um, it, I I have a feeling it's not. It's gonna be like so bad. It's good, but but it still does still doesn't look that bad though. Well, I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a chance. Then we gotta talk about The Black Phone, which is directed by Scott Derrickson, who directed the first Doctor Strange. The second one's actually coming out next weekend. And this movie stars Ethan Hawke as a, as a serial killer abductor guy with a cool-looking mask, a scary-looking mask. And yeah, this movie looks great. I think it looks very scary. Ethan Hawke's probably gonna give a great performance. Um... This one definitely remains in my top five most anticipated movies of the summer. Um, if you want, if you want to know my top five, I'm gonna be posting my top ten most anticipated movies of summer next week. But yeah, this movie looks pr great. I cannot wait to see this one. Um, and then lastly, we're gonna talk about Jurassic World Dominion, which is directed by Colin Trevorrow, and stars Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, and the OGs. Sam Neill, Laura Dern, and Jeff Goldblum. I don't think this trailer was as good as the other trailer that came out. Um, I think it was the beginning of this year. Maybe it might have been late last year. No, I think it was beginning of this year. We got the trailer. Um, it looks good. It looks pretty good. Um, one thing, I like that we're seeing all three of our... Like, usually with all these, like, requels, we never get to see the OGs... Together, we actually get to see all three of the legacy characters together, which is pretty cool. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, one of them's probably going to die. Um, maybe two of them, but my money is on one of them dying. My money's probably on Jeff Goldblum dying because they killed off Han Solo. They killed off Dewey. I mean, Ian Malcolm's kind of like the Han Solo of the franchise, so I'm assuming he's the one who gets killed. Who is going to die in this? Because... Um, Alan Grant is basically, like, Luke Skywalker. Ellie Sattler is basically, like, Leia. And then Ian Malcolm's basically, uh, Han Solo. It, it makes perfect prequel sense to kill him off. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, one concern I do have is it could be, like, another Rise of Skywalker because this is the same director as the first one, but not the same director as the second one. Which means it can maybe make the story a little bit disjointed, maybe. But it still looks pretty good, and dang, the nostalgia is strong with this one. Also, Chris Pratt is probably going to do a good job here. 
everyone else is probably going to do a great job here. And it's going to be great seeing Blue again. So, yeah. Definitely excited. I'm definitely e think I'm excited for Jurassic World Dominion. Don't think it's going to be amazing, of course, but it looks pretty good. Anyway, that is Season 3, Episode 3 of Christian's Trailer Talk. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.